Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be doing things a little differently. We're going to be talking about the products that did not work out for me and that I don't particularly love and I won't be repurchasing. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe and let's just get right on into it. Okay, so if you guys do hear any scratching or squeaking or anything like that, my dog is here with me today, just hanging out with me. So yeah, if you do hear anything like that, just that's my, my dog. Okay, so first product that did not work out for me is this here. It's the Pacifica Glow Baby Vita Glow Face Lotion Vitamin C. When I saw this at the drugstore, I was so excited to try it out. I'm always looking for affordable, you know, vitamin Cs, and this just wasn't it. The packaging is so nice. Like, it is a glass bottle, but uh, this product wasn't it, you guys. The consistency is not for me. Did not like the feel of this on my face. It's just a little bit too thick, a little bit too gloopy. It's not my ideal consistency. And, and the smell, I just could not get over on my face either. I just did not like it at all. It smells cheap in a way. Like, I don't even know how to describe the smell. It's just not pleasant. Not a pleasant smell at all. So I was not a fan of this in the end because I want to use the product up. I've been actually using this as a hand lotion. You know, it moisturizes just fine and it keeps my hands moisturized for hours. So that's how I'm using this product up because I don't want to waste anything. But for my face, this did not do it for me. And then the next skincare product from the drugstore that I did not love is this one here. It's the Neutrogena Bright Boost Illuminating Serum. I don't know what it is about drugstore products and droppers, but every time I get a product with a dropper, the dropper doesn't work. <laughs> like there's product in here, but I can't get the dropper to get any product to come out. So yeah, that's just one thing that might be just my luck, but the product itself just feels like there's like sparkles or something in the formula and it leaves your skin like a little glittery as well. So I don't really like glitter in my skincare. So this just did not do it for me. It's a bummer because I still have a lot of product left that I just will not be using. The other skincare product that just did not work out for me is this one here. It's the Wishful Eye Lift and Contour. I was using this for, you know, weeks. I actually used up pretty much the whole thing and it didn't really do anything for under my eyes. I don't know. I didn't see any results. I didn't see any brightening under my eyes, you know, and I used it for weeks. Maybe I have to just use it for longer, but this is not cheap. The other thing with this is that I would put this on right before bed, you know, I'd use it as part of my nighttime skincare routine, and I would wake up with like little breakouts under my eyes. So something in this just did not react well with my skin. Love Huda Beauty, love her products, but this just did not work for me. So this guy here, the e.l.f. Super Hydrate Moisturizer with Hydrating Squalene. This moisturizer, it just, it's not my type of moisturizer. Some people will like this moisturizer, but this is a true gel consistency. It hydrates on first contact, but it does not keep your skin hydrated for very long. And I need long lasting hydration. I did just get the little tester size and no, I just can't use it. Safe to say I will not be repurchasing this. And then the other thing that just did not work out for me is actually the Tatcha 
the dewy skin cream this is a holy grail product so many people love it and talk about it rave about it it's not for me so i would use this as my end of the day skincare moisturizer you know right before bed just to lock in all the serums that i put on my face before bed and there's something in this product like there is a fragrance with this product that I don't think my skin particularly loved because this would make my skin just break out in areas. I did buy the tester size just to see if I would like it or not and I'm glad I did that and that's my suggestion to you guys you know if you do see a product that you think you will like you see a lot of people talking about just get the tester size see if you guys like it if you don't then you're not out as much money if you were to buy the full product so this guy i did use the whole thing and it's not for me because it just does not work for my skin type just the fragrance in here did not react well with my skin and it would make me break out sorry all of you that love this product but it just did not work for me and then these the pixie and hello kitty anywhere patches i got this for when i was getting married and when i would need you know to get ready in the morning for like certain like, events or you know functions going on don't get me wrong they did work they were moisturizing and they did really depuff under my eyes just something about these patches like I did buy them to go under my eyes and they do not want to stay under your eyes they do like droop down you know after a certain amount of time and you end up having to move them up constantly when I want an under eye patch I want it to stay under my eyes so that for that reason alone the sky just did not work and then the Gucci Flora perfume. I really wanted to love this. Don't get me wrong, like it smells so good. I actually bought this to be my wedding day perfume. The thing that I don't love about this perfume is that it just does not last. You know, I spray it on myself and I, I don't know just like not even that much time would pass and like i can't smell it anymore it's like where the heck did it go for the price of this perfume i would really prefer it to last longer than it does i did end up still wearing this on my wedding day but i did layer other perfumes on top it does not last at all so that is why I don't love this and I will not be repurchasing. And then just some beauty products that I did not particularly love. I will not be repurchasing. The first product is these guys here. It's the e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadows. I talked about these guys in my e.l.f. video. Like I've continued to use them since that video and still they just don't work for me. I'm just that type of person that really wants to blend out my eyeshadow. I want it to look really blended and these just don't give me enough time to blend out that eyeshadow. And then every time I try to layer eyeshadow on top, you know, because I don't want just one monochrome look, it gets patchy. I don't know if I'm just using these wrong, but again, I've tried it multiple times and it's just, I just don't prefer to use them anymore. So um, I'm gonna skip on these guys. Yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. So on the line of e.l.f., I don't particularly love the putty blushes. This shade here is the only one I've tried. It's the um, shade in Turks and Caicos. You know, I'm not really a peach blush type of person, but looking at the other blush shades, 
they don't excite me. They don't speak to me. So I don't know if they're exactly brown girl friendly. If you guys do like these blushes and you're close to my skin tone, let me know what shade you guys like and I will try it out. But the one that I tried out, the Turks and Caicos, does not work for me. It's barely pigmented. It barely shows up on my skin tone. So not the biggest fan of this. It is a pretty shade and I think it's my favorite color from the bunch just looking at them but this guy even like just having it show up on my skin I have to really go in with product like four times five times to make it show up even just a little bit so not a fan of the putty blushes. The other product that I just didn't love is the Revlon Color Stay Day to Night 4 Quad Palette. So when I saw this in the drugstore, I was actually really excited to try it. And man, I don't know what it is about this product, but the fallout in this eyeshadow palette is insane. Like, I was so surprised when I saw all the fallout. Like, even my cheaper Shein palettes, I've never had so much of a fallout issue with those palettes like I did with this one. And when I would just take a little bit of product on my brush, tap it the excess off, you know, like I usually do, most of the product would come off like it's that loosely packed and I would barely get any on my eyelid. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this palette. There are cheaper eyeshadow palettes out there for like four or five bucks even that don't have the amount of fallout that this guy did. It was baffling. So this guy here, the Maybelline Fit Me hydrate and smooth foundation not my cup of tea okay it's something about the finish of this foundation i don't love it is more of like a satiny finish it just really smooths out your skin and i did not love it on my skin. It's supposed to be really good. It's foundation with vitamin E. It's SPF 18. So, you know, it sounded really promising, but in reality, like, I just did not love how it felt on my skin. Maybe I'm just not a satin finish type person, but just did not work for me. Like, I really like the 30 hour wear foundation. So something with the formula is a little bit different with this one. I really don't love the packaging either. Um, and Maybelline does this with a lot of their products. I really would prefer a pump because this just gets so messy and it, you just get so much more product than you need every time when you try to get some out. So yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of this one. And then these ones here, the Kiss Look So Natural Lashes. I thought these were going to be game changer, but they were not. The thing about these, I know it looks like I didn't use any, but the top ones I've used, you know, multiple times. I've tried them out multiple times. But something about these lashes just... Maybe it's the band that's way too thin. It was just really hard to apply these lashes. I put on more glue than I did the first time and I would still have lashes falling from the corners. So maybe it's user error. Maybe I need more practice with this. Ardell Demi Wispies all the way every day. That's what I have on my lashes today. And that's what I have on my lashes majority of the time. So... Those are my go-tos. Those are the ones that I swear by. These ones I thought they would be, you know, just that perfect everyday lash when you don't want something so glam. But this, in reality, just did not do it. All right, and then that's pretty much everything. Um, those are all the products that just did not work out for me. I will still link them down below if I can find links for the products. If anything that I talked about here are actually 
your guys' favorites or, you know, products that you actually do like, let me know. Maybe I'm just using them wrong. I'm willing to hear your guys' suggestions, so let me know. So yeah, you guys, that's everything for today's video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you. Mwah.